So, you might have been asking yourself the question, hey, I've been hearing a lot about the Oculus Quest. What is it, and how do I play with it? So if you're brand new to virtual reality, uh, the Oculus Quest is a virtual reality headset. The difference between it and its competitors is it's entirely tetherless, all-in-one, and you can literally just pick it up and play. I mean, super fast, um, which is super handy, because if you compare that against the other headsets, like the Rift S, PSVR, HTC Vive, Valve Index, which is coming out soon, um, all of those are wired headsets, and they require quite a bit of setup time. I mean, you're talking minutes to get into an experience, in most cases. Um, this guy, however, is literally, you drop it down, you open it up, and you'll be able to jump into it. Now, what's the benefit of virtual reality gaming over normal gaming? Well, first off, um, immersion. You actually get to be in the game instead of looking at the game on a screen. So, take the screen behind me, for example. I can play a game on there, no problem. But uh, if my dog walks in the room, that catches my attention. If my mobile phone goes off, my cell phone, get an SMS message on it. Again, that takes my attention. In here, I'm in a different world. How does that actually happen? So most of you will have seen the inside of a VR headset before. And in essence, the key is that you have two eyes. And that's how we trick your brain. So the way it works is one eye gets one image. The other eye gets a different image. And that's called a stereo effect. And it's actually how we see depth and interpret the real three-dimensional world around us. So when you throw on one of these VR headsets, uh, you actually just get dropped into a different place. And it's pretty magical. So this device is pretty easy. Uh, when you buy one of these, uh, which is currently $400, um, you get the headset, like that. It's got an internal battery. It's actually got the equivalent of a phone that's in here as well, which acts as the screen. And uh, that's how you get to see into a different world. How do you interact with the different world? Well, they do come with a pair of controllers. Now, I've, I've got this uh, travel case here, which is the official one from Oculus. I love it. Lovely little case. Great way to protect the lenses from the sun and uh, keep the controllers nicely bundled in. So, <clears throat> these controllers, uh, the Oculus Touch 2.0 controllers, have little rings on them. And you can't see them, but there's little tracking lights around these rims, like that. And then you've got the land log sticks, thumb buttons, just as you'd have on a game console. Uh, a menu button with the Oculus logo, it's called the Oculus Stadium logo, and the usual hamburger button for the menu. Triggers and grips. That's it. Those are your controllers. And so those become your virtual hands and you get to interact with the world. You can reload a gun, you can reach out and stroke a pet, you can go fishing, you can play some poker. Uh, it makes it really easy to use and on the go. And you can set this up anywhere that's kind of medium brightness. So uh, in, a, in, a, in a house with the blinds shut, for instance, not full sunlight coming in. Um, this thing does very well in pretty much all situations. And you can actually walk around with it because there's some uh, protection in there as well. Because once you put a headset on, you don't really know where you are because it does a pretty good job at, at blocking light out. And um, when you load up the software, it allows you to pass through with the cameras on the device and actually see your surroundings. Uh, you can draw a boundary around you so that if you get close to it, a virtual wall appears and you're not going to punch through your window or your television. And then you can also like walk through your house if you want, go downstairs and grab a beer. So uh, it's a very, very handy headset more than anything else. Now, one other thing you're going to need, and the reason I put the screen up behind me, is you're going to need a mobile phone as well or a cell phone. Uh, so it works with iOS or Android, so that's no bother. I've just got a kind of an older iPhone here uh, just to demonstrate. And you go to the Oculus website and download their app. Um, sorry, you, you download the app from your mobile app store. And then you launch and um, you go through some pairing steps. Pairs the step, uh, it's over Wi-Fi. That's pretty straightforward. And then you have access to a whole bunch of different types of games and experiences. One of the new things that I've been taking uh, a look at is YouTube VR, which is kind of an interesting app because it allows you to see like 360 or 180 videos. Now that's generally in the virtual reality space, seen as the kind of lower quality content. So that might not really be a thing that um, is for you longer term if you get into VR. But initially, it's pretty cool to see some of that stuff. And actually, I think that we're going to be getting there. Here's another great application, Netflix. I mean, you'd think, well, I'm getting into VR. Why would I watch something on a TV in VR? That makes no sense. Uh, it actually makes perfect sense if you've ever been to like an IMAX 
theater or a cinema with that massive screen. Because you can, with this little tiny screen, uh, trick your brain into thinking you're actually seated in a theater. And you're like, but what about the resolution? How, how good is it, right? I would, I would say that for anybody over the age of like 35 or 40, you're probably not gonna be able to know, notice the difference, sorry. <laughs> and then younger generation, um, you know, in terms, of the, in terms of the resolution of the headset, it's now gotten to a point where it's like, it's pretty damn comfortable to watch films and stuff. I was watching, you know, Breaking Bad and stuff like that in my headset and loving it. Because a few things, you know, I'm not distracted, so I'm like watching the thing. And then when you're like watching on this mega huge screen, you literally feel like you're in the theater. Now, the other cool thing is you can actually do this kind of stuff through an app called Big Screen, uh, you can do that with friends. So if you have a friend who's got this as well, and you watch, you want to watch something together, then you're able to do that. One of you acts as like the server, and they host the content, and you can sit down and watch a film together that way. I wouldn't say that that's like super easy for a complete newbie, but um, it's possible, and definitely should whet your appetite a little bit if you're into you know watching TV. So it's great as an entertainment device straight off the bat. Virtual desktop is another good one because you're able to take your PC. And this is what I like doing. Like watching the latest, you know, edition of Game of Thrones, right? Throw it up on my PC, virtual desktop to, you know, my headset and watch it in there, you know, in the comfort of, you know, a lounge chair or wherever you want to be. You could literally be on the throne and watch Game of Thrones, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> a few other things that you can do. Um, there's a whole bunch of things, actually. Let me show you my library and just uh, give you a flavor for kind of what's on the App Store. Now, many of you will have probably heard of Beat Saber. This is a really popular game, and I'm sure you've probably seen this before as well. But this is something that, if you've not already seen it, looking at it, you might say, ah, why is that, why is that cool? Well, actually, the way the game plays out, first off, it's music, and it's exercise, and it just becomes this, like, really addictive thing to do. A lot of people who try Beat Saber out, like, love Beat Saber. And I mean a lot, a lot of people, even people who don't who aren't into games and stuff like that. So definitely one to check out as kind of like a first thing to do. There's a few, a few free applications that are really good as well. Rec Room has got a whole host of activities, a very social game, quite, you know, it's caricatures in a, in a social environment. But if you want to go and talk to people from around the world, like you can just hop right in and literally there's all these like nice little avatars and you can go say hello to somebody, meet somebody from the Netherlands, you know, and then before you know it, you're playing um, like a paddle ball or, or uh, you know, a paintball game with somebody from Australia. And you can have like pretty big teams as well playing these games. And uh, soon enough, there'll be quests and kind of like RPG type missions. And that game's totally free. You know, once you got the headset, you've got access to that. Another one that's free that's kind of a really big deal, there was a huge deal in the VR space last year, is VR Chat. So VR Chat is like a whole bunch of like anime, manga, kind of Japanese, definitely Eastern culture. Um, in there, but that's not limited to that like there's pubs set up and as you can see there like a campfire All different types of crazy stuff a really nice place to meet people I found in particular a lot of like non-english speaking people you can go in there and like find people who maybe are You know experimenting and trying with their with their english and you get to meet people from all, all walks of life That's a really good one and again both uh, Rec Room and VR chat have like a flat version that's available to people on a desktop Which is really nice so that's pretty neat. So basically the basic things that you need to kind of get set up and doing this stuff is you buy the headset, you have a phone, install the app, pair the devices, you're good to go with all the free apps. And then if you want, link a credit card or debit card uh, to your Oculus account, and then you can buy some games. Uh, so for instance, where's, where's a good one here? Uh, Vader Immortal, as an example. So this is like a Star Wars uh, fan's dream. I mean, if you wanted to wield the lightsaber in VR, you know, actually hear the buzzing of the lightsaber as it swings past your head and all that. This is a great one. I mean, it's by the actual labs and studios who made the Star Wars series. And it's like really quite immersive. And I have to say to see like Darth Vader standing in front of you, um, you know, in the room with you is a little bit like oppressive. You're like, Jesus, dude, those are some broad fucking shoulders you got there. So anyway, that's another one that you should probably check out. Bit of a short experience, but a good one. What else in here can I recommend? If you're new to VR, uh, this game, Virtual Virtual Reality, is really good. Um, it kind of is a lot like the uh, Valve game Portal in that it's kind of lower fi graphics, um, but the, the sounds and the kind of robotic side to it is really good. 
And it's got a comedic side, which is really funny as well. But it, it plays with immersion. And if you like the film Inception, I think you'll like this a lot. Because in the game, you're actually like, you go into the headset, and then you go into a virtual headset, and then you go into another headset, and you keep going down these like layers of immersion. It's really funny. So it is a bit like the film Inception. If you haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out. It's very cool. Um, anything else here I can recommend? Something I'm a huge fan of um, is poker. If you play poker, this is one of the best free applications that you can have uh, is playing poker with people around the world where you just sit around a table, you chat, you buy fake beers and stuff and whatever, cigarettes and cigars and stuff, and you sit around a table and you play poker in some really nice environments and all that. Now, the thing I'd say about the Quest version of poker is that it's a little bit lower fidelity than the PC version. But again, sitting around a table and playing poker with people is one of the strongest like social experiences that I've personally had. And you look at it and you're like, ah, oh, it's pretty simple. It is pretty simple, but that's the magic in it as well because you don't have that much like gameplay that's distracting from actually meeting people or getting to chit chat just with pe just random people. And I've actually found that the uh, you know environment on there, good set of people. Um, I've always had a, a really warm and welcoming time. So that's Poker Stars VR. There's Poker VR as well, which is my favorite poker app, but that's only on desktop at the moment. I don't think they have a, uh, a mobile version coming. A few other things here to check out. If you ever wanted to know what underwater looks like in VR, then Ocean Rift is a title that's been there since the beginning, since five years ago when I started. And this is like a, it's like an underwater experience. Like my wife doesn't like undersea stuff at all. And I put her in this and, and she's like, she <laughs> clammed up immediately because <laughs> it gives a really good volumetric feel. But to have like a manatee brush by and all that, I mean, maybe it's something that'll, you know, tickle your fancy for 30 minutes or something, but it's a really good app to show off to other people and to experience the first time yourself. So very well animated. The studio's done a great job at like slowly making it better and better and better. So Ocean Rift is another one that I'd say you should probably check out. Um, the shark one, the, the great white experience on that, by the way, is caged. You're not swimming with the great white, but there's a few others that, you know, have big kind of nasty creatures in them. But if you're looking for a scare, <clears throat> there's a few other games in here that I would recommend. There's big screen that I mentioned. Uh, Box VR, I have to definitely uh, feature that as well. Box VR is probably the best. If you're looking for a bit of a workout, then, um, and, we, and you can, you can actually get some good fitness jabs going on this then I would recommend Box VR. It's a kind of a, a standing stance where you've got your hands up, shoulders up, right? And you're doing the punching and all that. And it gets you to duck and dive and weave and all. That's what those kind of vertical bars are. And you have to do all this. And it's multiplayer. So you can actually set up a workout and people can join you globally while you're working out. I'm telling you now, people are going to be loading up at like 7 a.m. doing their like morning workout together because they've got like preset exercise routines with good music. And some of these things, they make you burn. Like you feel a little bit of the exercise. So if you're looking to, I don't know, lose weight or just fit up, um, I would say that Box VR is a very good title. I met those developers um, in their office in London and uh, they know what they're doing. And one of their key things is like results. It's the first app that I've seen, unlike Beat Saber, that like focuses on, you know, can a person learn how to punch right? Do they know their stance? What about their footing? You know, all that stuff. And, and you can actually build your core muscles playing that game. So that's another one you definitely got to check out. A few other great ones here. Super hot. Um, Space Pirate Trainer. These are classics if you're into games and stuff like that. Now, the other thing that I thought would be good if you're into flying flight sims and stuff like that. This is like a really chilled out, almost like pilot wings back in the N64 days. So if you are a gamer and you're into that, or you just, maybe you're just like a chilled out 55 year old, five year old who's like had enough in life, but would like to have flown a plane at one stage, then this is actually, Ultra Wings is a really nice sim for that. It's super chilled out to like have your hands on the controls and be flying around these islands. There's kind of an arcade element to it in certain parts and others it's literally just like free reign. So you can just fly around some islands and stuff like that. Very good, very, very well done simulator. As you rank up, you unlock new vehicles as well. Um, so I, I would absolutely recommend that to anyone who really wants to try their hand at like flight sims, but with uh, within the uh, within the quest. So <clears throat> that is that one. I think there's too, like probably too much more for me to tell you, but um, one of the things that people would probably ask me 
is, okay, but I've heard VR can cause sim sickness, you know? And while some people still do get sim sickness, one of the things that the Oculus Store has, which I think is a really nice feature, is it can show you the comfort level. So for instance, Rush, which is a game about diving off of a, <laughs> off a, off a cliff with a paraglider and having the wingsuit like this, um, you know, that is an intense experience. And even for me, I'm quite seasoned at this, but like, you know, that, that first like dive off, you almost want to fall over. So uh, just, just ease your way into VR when you get into it. But I can say that because of the resolution and the, the quality titles that are on the Quest, and it's a very heavily, heavily curated experience, which means they don't just let any developer throw an underperforming application on there. And that means things run really well, so they feel good, uh, and they won't cause, they won't induce like sim sickness. So you won't feel uh, ill. That said, if you do feel a little bit, um, then my recommendation is just take it one step at a time. Uh, it's the old trick that people have advised me before when you get a new pair of shoes. So, you know, walk in those shoes for the first 30 minutes and then come out of them and then try an hour and then try two hours. But even uh, with VR, it's, you get a more obvious flag when to stop. If you feel anything in your stomach, you stop and you come out. Don't power through. That's the opposite of what you want to do. Okay, if you power through, you're going to train your body that this thing causes you to feel ill. Um, now, the vast majority of you won't encounter some sickness at all. VR has gotten to the point where the tracking of the controllers and the headset and your position and all this is nailed to the point where your body just gets tricked and you're just in a different place. It's absolutely magical, and I hope that most of you get an opportunity to at least experience this, if not get one for yourselves. So that's that. Um, I won't go on any further, because I think that's the, uh, that's the series of things that I wanted to show you. But um, aside from that, I would say that this is a, this is a, a kind of a fantastic um, experience, all in all. And it's definitely been one that, for me and my family, um, has been one that, um, it's just been a thing that every single part of, uh, of, of our lives has kind of been enriched by because we get to share experiences. We've got two quests in the house and we're able to play to get games together. And it's just like, it's a really cool headset and it's so easy to get into. This is why there's so much hype around it because, um, and good luck, good luck getting one, by the way, if you're, if you're watching this video now, because they are kind of selling out. So uh, if you have to join a queue to, to get one um, or a virtual queue, that is, then still do. It's still worth the wait. Um, when I got my first VR headset, I had to wait nearly five months uh, for it to be delivered, and that was the Oculus Rift DK2, um, which was a kind of a, a very, very, very long wait. And these days, you don't have to usually wait that long to get your hands on one of these. Uh, this is a 128 gigabyte version. There's a 64 gig version. Um, I would recommend if for anyone out there who is looking to pick one up, probably just get the 64 gig edition. It's, it's, not, it's unlikely unless you're gonna load videos on here, which you can do, but takes a little bit of a few steps. Wouldn't be for the basic user. Um, then I would just say a 64 I'll do just fine. Uh, the apps on, the, on there are generally quite small. So that's really good. Anyway, thank you for checking this out. Um, if you do have any questions about how to use the Oculus Quest, where to go for content or any of that stuff, uh, then feel free to ask. I also have all of my all of my VR reviews over at reviews.zimtalk5.com and you can search for things like, um, you know, a buy, consider, or avoid titles um, and also across a series of categories. So you can pick what you like, look for some recommendations uh, before you go purchasing. So thanks again for watching. I hope that uh, was a helpful video and I'll see you in the quest. Cheerio.